Welcome to the reason I will never get YouTube rank. I'm gonna break down why I quit Hypixel Skyblock, and I'm gonna do it like a Skyblock player. We're gonna start at the beginning here. Alright boys, this is the start of something very big. As you can see, we are playing Skyblock. No, not that far back. We have to go back to Skyblock the way it was nearly two years ago, around the time I started to think about quitting. Let me paint you a picture. The date is early summer 2021. Skyblock is riding a high from the release of the Dwarven Mines and the Crystal Hollows. Seems like a pretty good time for Skyblock, but the cracks are starting to show. It's around this time that nearly every week a new dupe is being discovered or a routine update is breaking the game. Admins were MIA, the alpha server wasn't open, and people took notice. Things as simple as a special mare really guys? were absolutely destroying the game's function and economy. It became pretty clear that the admins, game devs, whoever, weren't doing any testing at all. Skyblock players were also going to be in for a major content drought, as no new large updates were going to come out. For nearly a year? What were you guys doing? Something clearly wasn't adding up, so I started digging. I really don't feel like syncing this entire segment up to this song. A quick Google search will tell you that Hypixel generates a yearly revenue of 5.4 million. Keep in mind that revenue is not the same as profit, as it's total money generated before any expense like taxes or employee wages are spent. Or, in Hypixel's case, paying for servers. That 5.4 million may seem like a lot of money or a reasonable amount for a company that size, but the numbers here don't add up at all. It's easy to tell that Skyblock is by far and away the highest population game and therefore biggest money maker for Hypixel. Also, Skyblock can't have PvP due to Minecraft's EULA. Why is that? Because it's classified as a pay to win game with the option to purchase gems. So let's start there. Gems on their own can't be bought or sold for coins in game, but they can be used to buy things such as booster cookies and skins, which absolutely can be. And it just so happens that we can get a good idea on just how many cookies are being released in the in-game economy. We need to take a look at the bazaar to see just how many cookies are being sold. Now I'll link a few forum posts on this which go over the math in more detail in the description. So if you want to see exactly how these numbers are obtained, you can see all of the formulas there, but it checks out. But basically, the math is very conservative to account for bizarre flippers. However, on the other hand, it's also slightly skewed in the opposite direction as well, as it doesn't take into account people who buy cookies and actually use them rather than selling them directly on the bazaar. To sum the post up, by looking at the amount of insta-sells at the bazaar for cookies, we're actually able to get a rough estimate for how much real money is being spent on booster cookies alone. And these numbers have actually managed to go up since this post was made a little over a year ago. According to the bazaar, chopping a significant portion off for flipping, the total yearly revenue generated for Hypixel from cookies alone is $27.3 million. And this post was made a year ago. We can look at the data from the past year and see that these numbers hold up pretty well, as the selling volume of cookies has not only remained largely the same, but has actually gone up slightly. Now let's take into account the fact that booster cookies are only one in many ways that Hypixel makes money, with ranks, boosters for other minigames, and other uses for gems and skyblocks such as fire sales and account upgrades being a few, I personally think it would be safe to double this number. For example, the fire cells regularly sell out within hours, boosters for other games are a very common purchase, and Hypixel was clearly already a very profitable server before Skyblock was released. I would not be surprised if this total revenue generated is north of $50 million. So. What does this have to do with me quitting Skyblock? Well, it's simple. I am sick and tired of these damn corporations. That's not it. In all seriousness, it's a poorly run, stagnant, bug-riddled game filled with duped items and fully working exploits, policed by a joke of an anti-cheat and run by staff who, be it their fault or not, are not equipped to handle the challenges that are in front of them. The fact that if I wanted to, I theoretically could press a single button on my keyboard and walk away from my computer for an entire day, while my account 
is active, racking up money, and Hypixel's anti-cheat wouldn't be able to do a single thing to stop me. It is ridiculous. It is laughably easy to make a macro that is completely undetectable by Watchdog. This is where the money comes in. The excuse is thrown around all the time that Hypixel is a small indie server that can't afford to have many staff on board to playtest updates, fix bugs on the fly in a timely fashion, or basically operate as efficiently as any other server-based game. However, this is clearly not the case. Skyblock alone likely makes Hypixel nearly $25 million a year. They can afford to hire more staff. Even if the servers themselves cost a million dollars a month to keep up, they could do that and still hire more staff and likely still turn a large profit. Most of the issues that come up with this game, the bugs, the dupes, the wipes, could all be prevented if there were more staff and if they actually play tested. I used to find Skyblock itself incredibly fun. I mean, I've thousands of hours in this game. However, the issues that it faces really go down to the core of the game itself. Prices for everything are hyperinflated. Coins are being pumped into the economy at a ridiculous rate and the admins really haven't come up with a good way of dealing with this. In my time playing the game, Dante was the closest thing we got to a fix for the hyperinflation that's taking place. It's kind of sad watching this game that I love playing spiral out of control. But really, Skyblock is just no longer the same game that it was when I came to love it. I honestly hate to say it, but I predicted everything that would happen between me and Skyblock just over two years ago in a video. Will the admins begin to take proper precaution when releasing future content, or will they continue to watch from the sidelines as the player base grows increasingly disheartened and ultimately leaves? Well shit, did not think I was going to be talking about myself there. When I say that this is the hardest YouTube video I've ever had to make, I'm not trying to sound like every other YouTuber when they've made some trivial decision. I've honestly been sitting in front of a blank Word doc for an hour, just trying to figure out how to go about beginning this script. Hypixel Skyblock was pretty much my life for an entire year, and this video is basically the nail in the coffin, my final goodbye to what's become an entire chapter of my life. At the end of the day, I don't know what the future holds. I'm gonna aim to give away most, if not all, of my 3 billion coin net worth. So if you've reached it this far in the video, hit the subscribe button, join the discord, and I'll figure out some way to do this and make content out of it. At this point, it's been a year since I even set foot in the game, but I've kept putting off making this video because it really represents uncertainty for me and for my channel. Anyway, to end this video on a bit of a lighter note, I do have a few Skyblock videos left in the tank and also uh, 3 billion coins to give away, so hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Peace.